Alrighty, so today's going to be a different type of video. People have been asking me to compare the 6 Arc that I have on the channel to my 6 GT. So that's what we're going to do today. So on the left there you see that empty piece of brass, that is 6 Arc, and on the right is 6 GT. So the obvious difference is they're different sizes. So the trim length on the 6 Arc case is about 1.480 and the GT about 1.720. So definitely a longer case. Now this is supposed to help it feed better in a magazine, which we can kind of talk about here in a little bit as well. It also has a different case diameter. So the 6 arc, we've got that 6.5 Grendel case diameter or 7.62 by 39 case diameter, but essentially most people who are shooting 6 arc are using a 6.5 Grendel bolt face. On the right, the GT, we've got that 308 case diameter. So this is pretty much the most popular bolt face, which is great for building a rifle because every rifle is offered essentially in that 308 bolt face. Now cartridge overall length, um, most people limit the arc to about 2.260 and that's to fit in an AR-15 magazine. Now if you stretch this into a bolt gun, you can stretch that a whole lot longer. I've shot six arc loads in my bolt gun out to about 2.33. Now the cartridge overall length in the GT can, can be a little bit varied because most people are shooting it out of a bolt gun. Uh, most of the low data is somewhere between 2.5 and 2.6 inches. So you see a bunch of powders back there and some of these powders overlap. So Varget, for instance, we can use in both 6 ARC and 6 GT, but we're gonna see a little bit of difference in charges because of our case capacity. Low data from Hornady list a max load for the 6 ARC at 28.1 grains of Varget for that 108 to 110 class bullet, max velocity at 2650. Now this is their bolt gun data, so gas gun data is going to be even slower than this. Now with Varget, the max load is 34.2 grains at 2880. So we definitely have about 200 or so feet per second difference. Now I've pushed my six arc up to 2,700 feet per second with the 108 ELD, but they were pretty hot loads and, and brass life suffered. Now the, some of the real slow powders like Lever Evolution, you can get up to about 31.2 grains at about 2,850. So, you know, that's gonna close that gap a little bit more there. But on the other hand, we've got Superformance in the GT that we can load up to about 41.3 grains at 3,075 feet per second. So there's definitely a difference of probably about 200 feet per second. What I found really nice in the GT is that I can run moderate loads that are 28, 2,900 feet per second and not push my brass so hard, not push my gun so hard. I've got a little bit more wiggle room. So what this comes out to is at 1,000 yards, that top Varget load for the 6 arc is 10.1 mils of elevation and for the GT, that is 8.2 mils of elevation. So almost two mils difference between the ARC and the GT at the top Varget load. Now, when we move up to the top six ARC load with Lever Evolution and that top load with the GT with Superformance, we see 8.4 mils at 1,000 yards for the ARC and seven mils for the GT. So that gap kind of narrows a bit. I think the, the number one thing to consider here is are we gonna run a bolt gun or are we gonna use a gas gun? Gas gun, 6 arcs pretty much your only option. If you're gonna run a bolt gun, you might as well probably go with a 6GT. All right, so I briefly mentioned magazines there, and on the left you see our 10 round 6 arc magazine. This is an MTT mag, and then on the right you see our 308 magazine, which is also a 10 round. So they're the same size magazine, right? They both fit in each gun. The difference is with the 6 arc, you require this little bit of a spacer in the back, and the feed lips are just a little bit more narrow to fit that smaller case. Without that spacer there, you're gonna have issues feeding. The GT was designed to feed out of a regular 308 magazine, which um, mine has done well out of this 308 magazine. Now I had a Magpul magazine that it did not feed well out of, so um, to say it'll feed out of any magazine is probably gonna depend on the gun. But you will have to consider that. If you're going with six arc, you need a special six arc magazine. And if you're going with GT, you should be able to get away with probably a magazine you already have. So at the end of the day, which one would I buy if I can only have one? It would be the 6GT. And that is because of all the reasons we mentioned. Brass is more available right now, better, better temperature stable powders, more velocity, and we're able to load those down a little bit lighter so we're not tearing up our brass. Recoil's almost the same because if you look at those velocities, they're almost the same. We've almost got the same energy. We just have to push this one harder to get there. 
Now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep both of them because I enjoy shooting both of them. Six Arc will probably be my hunting gun this year um, for whitetail deer, and this is gonna be what we'll probably use for most competitions. So why not buy both? So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you like the comparison. People have been asking for it, so we'll see you next week.